good morning from Arnold Palmer. Look at that beautiful Christmas tree at oh Winnie my Palmer. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> he just did his uh, ultrasound for his hip. He did so good. He did so he good. Too. Yeah. Let him measure him. So I we'll think. Get results in a couple of days. Do you want to give him a snack here or in the car? Because there's a Starbucks. We can grab Starbucks. Because my 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 brother and sister in law and their family gave me a birthday gift card. Mm. I, I have a call in 15, so we just okay. can't yeah, sit around. Get, let's get some drinks and then we'll go to the car. Perfect. I just wanted to show that tree. It's beautiful. Yeah, wow. So this is the first time that I'm not having James just nap on me or nap on the dock tot or nap on the pillow. Um, it took a, probably about like three different times to like for him to like really get down but I just basically did our um, our nighttime routine and I mean he's sleeping. He's a really good sleeper so even if he just sleeps for I don't know not even an hour. Um, it's progress and it'll 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 keep getting better um so i am this is like almost the i would say again like the first time that i'm kind of free to like be productive or do stuff while peter's working just totally on my own because he is in the bassinet i have the outlet on him i have the baby monitor on him um so i'll be able to run to him um if i need to but i'm hoping to get some stuff done in this nursery just to get it like functional it's like where it needs to be not a place for storage but for James to play for us to use um for it to be a functioning nursery Hallelujah. Hallelujah. it's in at six right now Peter's got to get to get in Wow. I just poured it all over James. <laughs> Pepsi like a baby. Victory. Yeah. We're staying home tonight. To work on a bunch of stuff. But like it's gonna feel so good. Guys, we're staying on property this weekend. Don't mind if you hear the office in the background. This this week, Thursday. Yeah, and we just wanna feel so good before we go and so we're gonna be productive tonight maybe Epcot tomorrow like most most likely Epcot tomorrow who knows what Wednesday will hold I'm a very flustering father okay so it's not morning but this is his favorite song good morning good morning it's great to stay up late see he gets so cooey and sings long Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Good morning in the morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. See, he loves it. I'm home and I think this is one of the first times I'm in the vlog hanging out with my dog Eve. We just got scorned by Chipotle online order. It... It was supposed to be there ready at 6.15. I showed up at 6.10. Um, it's 7. <laughs> it's 7 o'clock right now. At 6.15, time lived came. so close to two. I was like freak. I was like worried. And I didn't bring my happened. phone in because I'm like, I, I might just bring, didn't bring my phone in. The, I, left, I left it in the car. So I'm standing there. 6.15 comes, goes by. 6.20, 6.25, 6.30. Around 6.30, I see my our order, what I think is our order, sitting by the register and not being bagged. And the person at the, reg at the register like, just kept on the merry way because there was like a long line bag and bag and bag and I've worked service before so like I'm not trying to bag on them at all but it's just like finally someone else complained because there were two orders ours and theirs that were just sitting by the register not bagged just like sitting there they, they were supposed to go on like the web order pickup shelf um, and then once that person got theirs I was like hey and I think that other one's mine so um, not some to manja I actually got a salad so I have the dressing and the romaine lettuce now that is a burrito supreme that peter got sofritas i got barbacoa i haven't had that in forever look how perfect he looks <laughs> 
And he looks like a big kid already. The mirror's legs. right there. Oh, the mirror's right there? Yeah. I hung that Mickey there. You <laughs> 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 got scared. You got scared? By the tiger. Oh, no. Eve's not so sure about that. All right, so doing a productive day home tonight. Still doing a little bit of work stuff, but also doing a lot of productive stuff around the apartment so that we can get so ready for our staycation this week and slash week. Um, but I want to show you these medals because my Run Disney two course challenge package came to with my shirts and my medals and I think you guys might know by now, but Sarah and I don't kind of live with the metals around us for too long. They go stored in the cardboard box in our closet. So I'm going to show you the metals I got along with Sarah's again and my shirts, and then I'll shove them in the closet until someday they'll we'll do something with them. All right, so here you have got Sarah's 5K, her first run Disney medal ever, matte black, beautiful lanyard. I mean, come on, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So this, and this is what we do. We take it, you roll the lanyard around it, and it goes in the box. But here's what came for me today, the wickedly delicious Disney Wine and Dine 10K. Villain of the race is Ursula. Look at her with all the poor unfortunate souls right there. Got the metal here, crazy shape. Like, really crazy shape. Really heavy. Love the lanyard, the detail of the tentacles and everything on the lanyard. Here we've got one of the most evil villains of all. Evil Queen. Sponsoring the 13.1 mile half marathon. Got really cool, got the poison apple on the um, lanyard. This, the way the lanyard attaches is really cool. Through the back there, but you'll see here, really heavy. You got the Evil Queen, and this rotates to the Poison Apple 2020 Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon. And last but not least is the Two Park Challenge. The shirt kind of gives away the theming of the medal, and it might be my favorite medal, trumping the Three Caballeros medal from last year. So here we go. We've got a very famous mountain or hill there. Five years running of, I guess it would be the Wine and Dine. I thought Wine and Dine was older than that, but maybe not. And then right here, look at this. Matt Black, Disney two course challenge, five years running. 13.1, 6.2, 19.3 for the challenge. We've got the Pumpkin King himself. This spins, but wait for it. The Arch Nemesis, Tim Burns, Nightmare Before Christmas, 2020, we got Dice, the same pumpkins with the different mileage on there, and Oogie Boogie with his spinning game board. This is a fancy metal. Whoa. Love it. And I'm just curious, like, I'm not, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan. You guys know I'm not the hugest fan of the virtual races. Um... I really like them in a sense in this like world of COVID when there's not in-person races going on, but like back when in-person races were going on and they had like the Marvel Summer Series, I never really did those. Um, but I think these were, these were designed before they knew it was going virtual, which makes me think like like these are like these are like Disneyland Paris run Disney grade because for some reason I feel like Disneyland Paris's medals were always better quality design and everything but these metals just took it to the next level but the sh those, all those shirts are long sleeve they're going they're growing in my drawer the metals are getting retired you guys know our crazy closet spin job and in the box of metals let's just like pull one and see what we find Twenty twenty Pluto five K. Love that. So me and Jamesy boy are taking a little snack break. He did so good playing on his mat, and then he was in the little 
rocker chair. I had not organized his clothes since before he was born. So some of the stuff that we had out was like actually too big. We just weren't sure how big he was going to be. And so now everything is way less full. <laughs> that is James's nursing noises. Um, way less full. And so everything that is in his armoire now we know fits him. None of it is too big. Um, so that's a nice little bit of organization I didn't expect to get done tonight. We are working on our like clothes storage and it all fits in one bin but just with it like being stacked and stuff it isn't like the greatest organizationally set up. Um, so I think we're going to get some sort of space bag or some sort of ziploc bag or something to organize it a bit better and more jam-packed. Um, so I'm basically done with that and I think next I might just work on maybe the crib or maybe work with Peter on the crib um, to get the nursery like like I was talking about earlier like totally functional. There's this cool Vespa store here in Winter Park and every time I see it I'm like something tells me I'm gonna be like a 65 year old Vespa dude be strong around my neighborhood on my Vespa, little cafe con leche, and a little basket maybe, I don't know. I actually think my mom used to have a Vespa when I was little. I don't think she drove it much, but maybe that's what's coming in. But um, I didn't talk about it much, but my 30 mile week last week caused me some uh, a very ominous, scary, ink, like, irk in my right Achilles. And if you've been around long enough to remember my first Dopey, I almost tore that puppy. And I've, I haven't rolled my legs in two weeks. Really bad thing to not be doing. So I was scared coming out today to run. And I had a twinge in like my IT band on my left side. And I was like, I don't know guys. I gotta get out and run, but I don't know. Um, I just took it easy. I'm going like a minute slower than what I was last week, but it's actually like 68. It's not hot, but it's not cold like it was last week. Really enjoyable run through the neighborhood. So um, I didn't stop and vlog in my typical spot because I was just cruising. Um, look at this old couple. Look at those pigs. Weird decorations they're artsy people like sarah in college anyway um it's later than i want 11 40 p.m in the middle of winter park oh and for anybody who was wondering if you want a little tattoo update i still have the clear bandage on look at that though i was nervous about it i asked the guy who did it if i could run with this on and he said yeah um i'm taking it off tomorrow morning though um because it looks weird but he also said keep it on for three days so i'm excited to take it off and wash it because i haven't seen the true like form of it because it seems kind of bloppy because the plasma built up below it um and sarah hasn't seen it in it's like true form so the idea is to go home tonight go to bed wake up go on another run and then when i come home from that run rip this sucker off and see how it's looking well funny enough i didn't get a good look at my tattoo and bandage but um you know how i said the plan was to take it off tomorrow morning after a run and the guy who did my tattoo said i could wear it on runs maybe that's different for everybody and maybe that guy didn't know how bad i sweat because i will hold off from showing you what this looks like but sweat has pooled underneath each of the like bulbs of the heartbeat and this bandage has got to come off in the shower that I'm about to take so we will get a good look at this tattoo tonight there it is tattoo all uncovered I think it turned out perfect I love it and to round off the evening since I got my tattoo uncovered Sarah I'm making Sarah some the rest of the peppermint hot cocoa before we go to bed while we calm down James and get him ready for bedtime here is the bed. I just love how it turned out with 
the new comforter on top that is actually twin size. Sweet pillows that my friend Lauren made us. They are works of art. And then we finally have sheets on the bed. We got the guard back up. We got the baby monitor up. I'm going to try, I think tomorrow, I'm going to try and have James nap in here. I think he's going to like it because I think he likes falling asleep on like bigger surfaces. Like I feel like when it's too constrained, if it touches his face, then like he wakes up because he like thinks it's time to nurse. So I'm interested to see how he'll do in here. And I don't think we showed this, the, um, the Christmas tree that Peter's mom made James for his room. It's that buffalo plaid. It's got little jingle bells on it. And it's got a Rudolph. I am very tired, but I am very happy with everything that we got done tonight. Today's actually my mom's birthday. Send her some happy birthday wishes below. Message of the day. Smile, it's free therapy. Douglas Horton. It's late. It's late. And you know when you're having one of those productive nights and you divide and conquer and you don't get to spend much time with each other? That's how I feel like tonight was. All the rest of the week, we'll have plenty of time together. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.